Hi, I'm Chilton Webb, the creator of the Dark Reef video game, and I'm also the creator of a product called Conjure. And a lot of people have been asking about this because I used the hell out of it in the training videos, and I used the hell out of it uh, in the behind-the-scenes videos for the Dark Reef. This is a multimedia whiteboard, blackboard, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a, it's basically a brainstorming tool like nothing else. Um, it gives you an unlimited number of desktops that you can zoom in and zoom out of instantly. Uh, you can scroll through them very easily. You can find anything that you've written down anywhere. If you want to write something down, you just start typing. And it doesn't matter um, which one you're on. You can go to a different page and start typing. Start typing. Um, that doesn't matter where you write. You can write anywhere on any desktop. You can draw on any desktop. You can use a, a there's even a highlighter mode that you can use uh, to highlight things. And it's, it's, uh, it creates its own desktop environment, basically. Um, this is a, th a thing that I've always thought was just completely missing in the computer industry, and so that's why I created it. Uh, it lets me kind of bridge the gap between all my different tools. I use Lightwave a lot, I use Unity a lot, and I use Photoshop a lot, uh, but when a client calls and says, uh, this particular thing doesn't look right, um, or this particular thing needs these particular settings, I don't have a place that I can go put them. And that's what Conjure does. It's, it fills that gap very, very nicely. Uh, it lets me take pictures. Uh, here, uh, again, I was uh, playing with this earlier. I can do, uh, I can click on this thing here. For example, if I want to take a picture of this iPhone, I can just hold it up here, and I can click on Save to Conjure, and it saves it. Same goes for action figures or pictures of things that clients have handed me physically. I don't have to scan them in. I can use my built-in camera on the computer to do that uh, and pop it right there on the desktop. It has unlimited undo. Um, it also lets me put uh, keep references to files. And the, for example, here is uh, Modeler. If I were to go look for this app, it would see that it's in applications under this under that and here is a file that I usually am probably going to open in modeler uh, but again if I were to look for it uh, just hitting command shift R it pulls up its actual location which is totally not in the same folder as the other stuff on this page in fact some of the pictures on this page are from screenshots that I took uh, some of the stuff uh, for example here's a, a giant crane uh, I zoomed in on the foot of this crane and then used the knife tool here to cut off parts of it um, so and then and then zoomed my original uh, tool uh, original train back out, and now I have this um, just this this part right here that I can use to help me uh, uh, figure out exactly what I want. Uh, for example, there he is. If we if you notice uh, this here, copy um, is the same as this up here. See, that's how I did that. I I copied this off of a website, off of a photo. Uh, since it's just for me and I'm not selling this, I can take things and not worry about attribution, stick them all on my desktop as reference material, and then use that later when I'm trying to figure out how to build specific things. And if I don't like something, for example, in this case, I didn't like the tread, thought it was ugly, I left a link to the file and I left my notes next to the file. So if I forget what I'm doing and I go do something else and I come back tomorrow or the next day and, I, and I'm like, well, what, am I, what was I going to do on that file? I've got it written right there. I don't have to go dig it up and then try to remember what it was that I didn't like about it or did like or whatever. I keep everything in Contra. I keep all the plot and dialogue for all the different chapters uh, in, in the Dark Reef. I've got notes on GUIs and I've got notes on known issues in the game. And I've got all of my reference material. I use these things called clusters that I created just for Conjure that uh, let me basically um, store information and pictures in little clusters that can be moved around on the desktop. And they, they're context sensitive. You pull them into a corner, they create a different type of fan than if you pull them at the bottom of the screen. And you click them again and they retract. You double click them and they put them back where you got them. Uh, it's a really cool tool. And there are over 200 tools like this in Conjure that let you do all kinds of awesome things with your with your art, basically. Um, and so right now I'm offering this to Lightwave users specifically uh, for 20% off. And that would be, uh, let's see, that's, yes, 20% off, that's $19.99. You can download a free demo at conjure.com, conjurebunny.com. And if you want to buy it, go to liberty3d.com and there will be a special link there uh, just for buying Conjure and, and buy it there uh, and you'll get 20% off. Uh, that's it. Um, please let me know if you have any thoughts, uh, what, what you think. Uh, if you love it, um, I have, uh, uh, as far as I know, 
out of my hundreds of clients, I have never had a single person write me and say, I stopped using it. Uh, and, and most of the time when I issue an upgrade, 100% of my users upgrade uh, the same day. And it's not, it's, it's uh, free upgrades. So, you know, why not? But at the same time, it's because every single person that I can get to use this will keep using it basically for the rest of their lives. It's that good. I promise. Check it out. Download the demo. You won't be disappointed. Thanks.